Alonzo, Dom Smith, Glaber Torres, they all qualify. Sweeney, it's, it's got to be one of those three, right? One off that board for me, and it's Davey Garcia. Uh, really excited by what he brought from the pitching standpoint. Listen, I got to be honest with you here. I think my little man crush on Davey Garcia is only slightly less than the one harp had on Manny Banuelos about a decade ago. Uh, I think you just have to really appreciate what a young starting pitcher who has some electricity brings to a team, brings to a rotation, that kind of energy. And I'm looking forward to seeing him in a full season at some point. And I hope it's 2021. Uh, we never got to see that with Manny Banuelos. So nobody's more heartbroken about it than Harp. <laughs> you probably bought in on the killer bees, did you, Harp? <laughs> I did. I fell in love with that guy. The uh, little guy, the ball exploded out of his hand. Uh, but I'll tell you this, Wayne, I would not have drafted him over a young Derek Jeter. Come on. I mean, you got to take, I mean, come on. Glaber Torres is going to be, I still think he's going to be a superstar. He had a little bit of a down year. But, and I got to take him first over Alonzo or Smith because he's a guy who plays, you know, I, he didn't play a great shortstop, but he can play an adequate shortstop or he's going to play a second base, middle of the infield. With that kind of offense, he's going to give you, I got to give him a little more value. Unless Alonzo's going to be a guy who hits, goes, hits 50 plus home runs every year, which we got to see that. And I would actually take Dom, I, I, and it's hard to say because Dom and Alonzo, you know, they're right there together, but I would take Dom maybe slightly ahead just because of the defense. And I think he's still, we're still only seeing him on the rise. So I think there's more there coming from Dom still. I'm going to go with Sweeney here, and I'm going to take Davey Garcia. Look, I'm wow. a pitching and defense guy. I really like what Garcia brings to the table. Uh, I love what he brought to the table this year, and it's a little bit of that unknown. We, we've seen some of it. We've been teased. He's so young. He's 21 years old. He still has some more to, you know, to show us to, to get to, more potential to fill out. That's exciting to me, and, and I just love what – the potential brings to a rotation, to your team. And as Sweeney said, the excitement. I think there's a lot to be, you know, happy about there. That fastball and slider look pretty dangerous. And if he continues to evolve, he's going to be a very good pitcher down the road. Wow. I, I'm Those shocked. guys must be confident in their job security if they're yeah. making that pick over, well, here, over Glaber. Here's what, I mean, he, look, he's, he's young. He's unproven. The stuff's nasty, no doubt. He's undersized. Uh, you don't know how long this can last. Uh, I think of Tim Lincecum, who was great, dropped off the face of the earth uh, because it's hard for his body to withstand that. Um, but look, I, I think that Dom Smith is my answer here. Um, partially, I think, because of uh, obviously the progress he made in 2020, but also everything he's overcome already in his career, the position that he was put in when Pete Alonso uh, leapfrogged over him into the starting role. He pivoted, played left field. He's, he's dealt with all the adversity and has come out the other side, I think, going into next year, a potential MVP candidate.